All right, this is lesson 6.5, the slope point form of the equation for a linear function. Uh, what I want you to do to give you an idea of what this uh, lesson is going to be about is, I want you to try to determine an equation for this line. All right? Pause the video here and see if you can find an equation for this line using what you know about y equals mx plus b. Okay? So when I look at this and I want to put this thing into y equals mx plus b, well, what are some things that go through my head right away? Right away I see that this is the um, y-intercept. Well, it looks like it's probably at negative two point something, right? It's very tough to see. And so as a result, um, using y equals mx plus b, right, I could probably get a line that's close to that, but it's unlikely I could just look at that graph with the naked eye and, um, and be able to find out what the equation is. If I actually wanted to do this using y equals mx plus b, what I'd have to do is I'd have to first figure out the slope here. The slope is not that bad. I could figure out that the slope is up two over three. But then um, from there, I'd have to take a point in, substitute in for x and y, like we did back in the 6.4 lesson, in order to find out what b is. Okay? So why I'm showing you this is I want you to see that since we do not have a y-intercept, that is easy to determine using y equals mx plus b is not that efficient. All right. And so here comes the slope point form of the line. So notice here how we can find the slope really easy and we do have a point that's on that graph. Well, that's where we're going to use this different method. Okay. All right, so let's try and develop a formula for the slope point form for the equation of the line. Consider a line that has a slope m. So the slope would go from here to here. Uh, it passed through this point at uh, p1 has x1. Oh, this is a little typo right here. It should have y1. And another point like so. Well, using your slope equation, right, if you remember from the units before, we can just say that you take your y coordinates, subtract them from one another, and take your x coordinates and subtract them from one another as long as you keep them consistent. Well, imagine we wanted to express this all in one line rather than having a fraction like that. What we'd need to do is we could cross multiply or just basically multiply both sides by x minus x1. And we would have this equation as m all multiplied by x minus x1 is equal to y minus y1. All right? And this indeed is known as the slope point form of the equation of a linear function. So we have y minus y1 and x minus x1. That's normally the order they put it in. This really doesn't make any difference, the order, uh, as you can see from here to here. Okay. So in this lesson, what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, look at a couple questions that lend themselves a little bit nicer for us to use this method rather than using maybe y equals mx plus b. Okay. Describe the graph of the linear function with this equation and then graph it. All right. So let me shrink this up a little bit. All right, so what do we see with this equation right here? Well, I notice if I substitute this into the format that we have here, we'd have y minus 2 is equal to 1 third onto x plus 4. Well, what information can I gather from this? I can gather right here that my y coordinate of this missing ordered pair, y1, is equal to 2. I can gather that my slope is equal to 1 third. And I can gather from this one that my x coordinate is going to be equal to negative 4. Now I want to highlight two things that I did right here, here and here. Notice that I took the opposite value. All right. So whenever you see in the brackets there, I want you to take the opposite value. That's one little tip. Okay. So now what information can I take from here? Well, I now know that this ordered pair is located, remember the x goes first, it's located at negative 4, 2. Well, that gives me enough information now to go and graph this. All right? Otherwise, it would have been quite a pain if you had to go and take this equation up here and put it perhaps into y equals mx plus b. So from here, I know that I have an ordered pair at negative 4 and 2, so like so. And I know that my slope is 1 third, so I'm going to go up 1 over 3, up 1 over 3, like so. i got enough points on there to be accurate. And therefore, I can go ahead and... So that's one uh, example of something uh, that would be quite easy to use the um, slope point form of the equation of a line. Let's look at a different one. 
This one, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to interpret uh, what the equation is. So notice that this question is, uh, I believe it's the same one that we dealt with on the first page. Uh, only now we're going to try to find the equation of this. So again, using the uh, slope intercept form, the y equals mx plus b is not that useful because we can't figure out what that point is. But we do know some information about this. Okay, so let's interpret this. Uh, we do know that the slope, the slope I have to go up 3 over 4, so I know the slope is equal to 3 quarters. Now it's up to you which ordered pair you want to use. I'm going to use this ordered pair right down here. You could have used the one up top there. This ordered pair is at negative 1 and negative 2. And so by using this equation, y minus y1 is equal to m onto x minus x1, I can simply just substitute my ordered pairs into this equation and uh, put in the slope and you're good to go. So you always substitute into this, so these three different things that we have right here. And So I'm going to have y minus, I substitute in my first y coordinate, that's a negative 2. My slope is 3 quarters, I substitute that in. I have x minus negative 1, like so. Now simplifying, this is important that you simplify here, the equation for this line would be written as y plus 2 is equal to 3 quarters onto x plus 1. Okay. So very straightforward. That's what that would be written as in terms of uh, the point slope form equation of the line. B says write the equation in part A in slope intercept form. What is the y intercept of this line? Well, what they want you to do is they want you to take uh, what we have right up here. And they want you to go and put that into y equals mx plus b. Okay. So in order to do this, what I want you to think of is I want to go and try to get y all by itself. Okay. So I'll write the equation the way we have it right here. y plus 2 is equal to 3 quarters onto x plus 1. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get y by itself. When I do that, I have to take the 2 here and subtract it from both sides. So I'd have 3 quarters, bracket x plus 1, all minus 2. Now, I'm almost into y equals mx plus b. The next thing I need to do is I need to um, distribute the 3 quarters across the x and the 1. 3 quarters x gives you 3x over 4 plus 3 quarters minus 2. Now, we're almost in this y equals mx plus b. This is where we're trying to get. But we don't quite have my y-intercept figured out, so I need to deal with that. My slope is good to go. I know the slope was going to stay the same. It was going to be 3 over 4. But right here, I have 3 over 4 minus 2. Well, I'm going to get myself a common denominator. All right. So a common denominator right here would be over 4. I have the 3. And then the negative 2, if you want to put that over 4, it's going to become an 8. Because negative 8 over 4 is the same as negative uh, 2. Lastly, simplifying, I have y is equal to 3 quarters x minus 5 quarters. 3 minus 8 is 5. So that's showing how you can uh, go back and forth from one form to another. When you're trying to put into y equals mx plus b right there, we just try to isolate your y and then put it in for the m and the b. Uh, to summarize this lesson, uh, we learned about this, where is it, this little equation right here. That's really useful when you cannot easily figure out where your graph crosses the, um, the y uh, axis at like that. And um, again, it's really useful when you have a point and the slope for a graph. Okay, that completes this lesson.